Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios and Sword Burst 2. Today I'm going to continue the series um, about how to farm for experience in drops. We are on floor 5, Desolate Dunes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to speed this up by doing a super speed jump. And then you have to be in shift locks. And it should work. All right, I'm going to take you on the long tour. Go across the bridge. Down below are little lizards that you can fight. I don't know what they drop. I really don't even know their name. I've never fought the lizards. Never got anything from them. Because the angry cactuses here, the angry cactuses drop golden blade. And that used to be one of my favorite low-level blades. It's a very pretty little sword. Angry cactuses are along this ridge atop the, on this plateau here. You keep going. You can jump off here or you can keep following the path. We're just going to follow the path. It's another angry cactus, but you can just jump on off there and save some time. But we're going to take the scenic route. Angry cactuses along this pathway here. All right, that way is a dead end on the path. And I go down the hill here to get to the floor of this canyon. And there's the path turning and going back down. And it leads you to the vultures. These desert vultures drop armor. Paladin armor or something like that. So you can farm these guys and get yourself um, armor. And I'll put all that information in the window above, in the video above, once I edit it, this. All right, pressing on. I'm going to try and get two floors on one video today, if I can. Once you get past all of the vultures, hello, there's another vulture here that popped up. You're going to run into sand scorpions. The sand scorpions also drop a katana, if I'm not mistaken. If you go to the left, there's a bridge. We're going to go there in a minute. But up this right path leads to the mini balls. These centipedes or millipedes or giant centipedes they drop rock claymore or they, i think it's called rock claymore it's a cool sword and there used to be a um a pathway a doorway you can see the brown top of it there where it used to be i guess and you'd go into a maze and you'd have to go all the way back through the maze to get to this guy the fire scorpion this is the floor five mini boss, fire scorpion. Herm, Hermes, Hermes, or something. I don't remember the name of that sword it drops. But it starts with an H. Hermes, Hermes, or something. All right, coming down, we're going to go across this bridge. If you fall off, you'll have to go back and start over again. If you want to see what it's like down there, I was teaching my wife about floor five. We, and we and I, we fell off down there. And we got stuck on top of the water down there and actually got to explore what it looks like. So if you look at my previous Sword Burst 2 videos, you'll be able to see what it's like down in that canyon over there. Sand scorpions. All right, you go... Follow the path and go up and up and up. Or I want to try and show you if it'll work, this shortcut. It used to be you could climb straight up there, but they've tried to fix it. But there's one little place here. If you catch it just right, you can get, yay, it worked. You can get up much quicker than taking the long way. This doorway, I have fallen out of world so many times. Um, I don't know if it's because I was super speed jumping up to it or what, but that's so good we made it. 
This is the Centurion or the Cenotar Palace or whatever. It has Elite Patrolman, Green Patrolman, and the Centurion Defenders. They all drop swords. Uh, the Centurion Defenders, I think, drops a rare. All right, and the way, oh, this is a maze. Let me start back. Let me go back and show you the pathway through the one, the few mazes that are left. You come in that doorway there. It looks like an evil front, smiling face. Then you go down this hall. You take a right, a left, another left. Lagging back there, a right, a left, another right, a second right, and then a left, and you're at the boss room. The Centurion or the Cenotar Chieftain, I'll get his name here in a minute, but I, there are many of these Centurion Defenders here. If you were to walk down through here, they would pile up on you. They all come out to meet and greet. And now we're going to press on down here to where the boss is. This is one of the most camped out, famous places for the boss uh, of any floor. Because this boss drops uh, more items than any other boss on game, if I'm not mistaken. It does the fire hammer, the lightning hammer, sand aerosol, fiery saber. Um, it does, he, he drops a shield, a, I think a regen necklace, I think it's a stamina regen necklace, and upgrade protection scrolls. He drops it all. And there he is. There's the chieftain of all the centurions there, the centaurs. Minotaurs. Half person, half horse. Floor five. This is, one, like I said, this is one place that is very famous for camping. If you're strong enough to be able to handle his uh, dual hammer attack. Let me show you real quick one of my favorite places to... Camp out. You can go to any of these little doorways where there's a hall on the other side of the doorway. And you can camp right here. And the reason why I like this, look at that guy coming through the wall at you. You can get him from both sides. Now some of the little doorways goes to the outside. You will not be able to get them from both sides. But if you find the ones that have the hallway on the other side, you'll be able to Get lots of drops and lots of experience. Let's see if I can get one more of those Centurion Defenders to stick his stuff through the wall. So you can see what I mean. Of course, this side respawns and comes back at you. And the other side should respawn as well. But trust me, there are, you'll have to be, there he is. There was somebody stuck their little sword through. Floor five, that's when you get high enough level. Uh, and good swords, good shield and armor. I come and park here and you get lots of uncommons, a few rares, but lots of experience back there on those doorways. And again, you have the main boss. This boss takes a very long time, like five minutes or something, to respawn. So you'll have plenty of time to beat up on these Centurion Defenders until the boss comes up. I don't think that that time we were gone to that door, I don't think the boss has come up yet. All right. There's some nice people trying to get themselves a drop. 
The two hammers, the lightning hammer and the flame hammer and sand aerosol are all three legendaries. This guy drops three legendaries. Just touch them, let them have them. There he is again. This is Sajin the Centurion Chieftain. And he's gone again. All right, pressing on, moving on. Floor five. Now we're going to go to... Now, now check this out. Once you get floor five, you're going to get floor six and seven simultaneously. Floor six is Helmforth. Floor seven is... Ectolomo Gloomlands. The Gloomlands. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of this in on the video. It is a long way back into the boss. Especially if I take the long way. But what if I take the short route? Let's go ahead and super speed jump. You go down the path. Follow the pathway. It'll take you to the mini boss and the boss. It just goes down and curves around to up here. So the shortcut, see it, it's all undercut here except for this one place where you can jump up and you have the clams, the shroomback clams, and you have the jelly wisps. The jelly wisps, one of the good places to farm the jelly wisps, which drops Kanoko Edge, I believe, is right here at these crossroads. And they will just keep coming and just auto come to you. Follow the pathway on down and then curve back. Or I'm going to just jump off here by the lightning bugs. They're called fireflies, I think. And that takes you to the mini boss. The mini boss is Frogazoid. Frogazoid drops an uncommon sword. And an uncommon armor, Vengeance Scale Wrap. I remember not being able to get a rare, but getting a Vengeance Scale Wrap, which is an uncommon, and using it for the next few floors. These are Gloom Shrooms. They drop the Gloom Shroom Blade. Lightning Bugs, Fireflies, rather. Can't see their names. Let's see if I can see his name. Huh, can't see the fireflies' names, but they are fireflies, I believe. I can see the shroom back clams, gloom shroom here. And this pathway leads through. Right here is a good place to farm because there are a lot of mobs, a lot of clams, and a lot of gloom shrooms. So you can farm right here before you get to the boss tower. And in we go. Inside the boss tower, it used to be that there was land around the back side of the boss tower to where you could farm. And they had these, what are they, um, horn sail fin iguanas. And they would be all around the outside of the boss room tower. And there was a place, a little cut in back in the back that I could use to farm. But now you just come straight to the boss room tower and here we go. Now, going down through all of these pathways, I'm going to try and run and get through this as fast as I can. See that little... Let me see if I can show it to you again. There's a ramp. Short of actually falling off, and I'm laggy for some reason. Anyway, that little ramp right over there. If you fall off, there's always a ramp. The ramp is when you start the walkway. So if you fall off, you've got to go back to the beginning of the walkway again. Here we go. We've got Blithe Mouths. They drop a sword. And on up here, you're going to have these big turtles called Snappers. There's the ramp there. So if you fall off, you'll have to come back to the ramp. So if I fell off, oh, I fell off. There are monsters down here. 
But let's say you get all the way to the end of the walkway, you have to come all the way around here and go back up. There's a, a little hole there. But all these monsters will be very interested in you if you fall off down here. So be careful. And back up the ramp you have to go. Around to the next room. That's basically all you do. If you need to rest, you can always hop, hop, hop in the center of the rooms. You can hop the mushrooms and hop up here and let your stamina or whatever you need to regenerate. There's a snapper, a couple of snappers. And the snappers drop Zircon Buster or something like that, if I remember correctly. All right. Just going to run on now. And see you at the boss room. There's a guy on top of a mushroom farming. You can do that. And the snappers to get up well you can do that also over here by hopping on top of the mushrooms and farming there uh, or you can get on top of an iguana or something and hop up on the tall mushrooms so that you don't take as much damage or any damage this may be the boss room coming up boss rooms on the left side you go to the right yeah i believe this is the boss room coming up it is. And here we are at the Floor 7 Boss Room. This is a great place to farm. Um, Smash Shroom is the boss. And he drops lots of good things, including the Durundal, which is a legendary greatsword that people at this level 65 or so really like. It's one of the first legendaries. Here is Smash Room. He is a big fellow. And there goes Smash Room. Make it look easy. I'm a level 226 when I made this video. So that makes it... And that guy's a level 120 or greater. He is using Endless Light. And so is he. They're both at least um, 120s. I don't know. Well, he's not super speed jumping. Back in the day, you used to come in and run over here and jump up on those mushrooms and those towers back before they turned PK off. And you had to try and stay alive between the PKers and Smash Room. And, uh, or you could get underneath the mushrooms. You can't even get to the mushrooms anymore. But that's how you used to survive Smash Room. Smash Room takes a minute to respawn. In this room, you have Gloom Shrooms, you have Blithe Mouths, and Snappers. There are no um, selfie iguanas in here. This is Floor seven boss room i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and look at some of the detail that they have put into that all the chains going up to the ceiling to try and keep those smash room in here i guess maybe otherwise he'd bust out but there are um, lots of detail on this game it's a very cool looking game and it to me it's a cool game all right I'm lagging pretty bad so I'm gonna go on out once you defeat smash room you will get the next floor which is blooming plateaus blooming plateaus is one of the prettiest floors in the game bright colorful cheery 
Until we see you guys next time, this is Delta Climber coming from Delta Climber Studios, and I'll see you on Blooming Plateaus. Arrivederci!